See, golf is a game unlike any other game because <laughs> I… I played a lot of field hockey when I was young. There was only one ball, twenty of us are trying to grab that ball and it's moving at high speeds and you have to grab it and take it, but everybody wants the same ball. When I started golf, <laughs> when I was well over fifty years of age, I suddenly realized this is a great game, I have my own ball <laughs> and nobody's trying to grab it and I have all the time to hit it and it's a sitting ball. In every other game, ball is coming at you at various angles, velocities, spin, speed, all kinds of things. Here it is a sitting ball and everybody becomes quiet in respect for the goof up that you may do. <laughs> So, to hit a sitting ball, what is the big challenge, I thought. So, I never took a lesson, I never been on a driving range. It's a sitting ball, I never take a practice swing <laughs> in the entire eighteen holes, but it's a sitting ball. If your faculties are okay, if you're reasonably geometrically well-balanced when you stand, you can hit the ball. You may not become a pro, but reasonable level of golf, every reasonably fit man or woman can play. But unfortunately, they have a mental problem. In my understanding of the game, seventy percent of the game is in the mind. So I play only seventy percent. The other thirty percent I never bothered because I don't want to be a professional or be in a competition or something. So I only pay seventy percent of the golf. So I finish, uh, you know, five, six, seven over. It's okay with me, I'm not planning to go under <laughs>